Dude, we're gonna be so late! Does this guy seriously have to stop right now? <laughs> Hurry up, old man! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is ironic. I mean, the motto of the company we're applying for is to help others first. Time to put that in action. <laughs> What's taking you so long? I dropped my wallet! I can't find it! Clay! We gotta go! Ah! Hey, relax, Roger. I'm trying to help the old man find his wallet. Do you see it? I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I see it. Just let me pick it up. Oh, aha, there we go. All right. Huh? Is that my wallet? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Word of advice, old man. People don't have time for you wandering around the streets, dropping your wallet. We have an interview to get to. Hey, let's go! I'm sorry. All right, over here, come on, come on. Okay. Dude, that took you forever. Relax, Roger. I scored us some dinner money for the next couple of nights. <laughs> help others first? Well, like, help us first. <laughs> Yo! That old man was carrying way too much money for his own good. But not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Now, let's get to our interview. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's still there. Roger, Clay, you two are late. Oh, uh, well, you, you must be Lisa. Uh, <laughs> we're, um, we're sorry for being late. There was a crazy situation on the way here. Well, at service then, we don't like excuses. You're right. There's no excuse for us being late. Yeah, there was just this poor old blind guy who dropped his wallet in the middle of the road, so we had to help him or else he was going to get hit by a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and honestly, if it were to happen again, we'd probably do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's actually really amazing. I must say that this is a rare occasion where I'm actually glad you two are late. Um, after all, our slogan is helping others first. Yeah, well, we love helping people. Mm hmm <laughs> Wonderful. Why don't you two take a seat? Okay. <laughs> yes, dude! We got the job! Oh, dude, that was a piece of cake. <gasps> Guess we gotta thank that old man for two things. There's cash mm. and a job. No, seriously. <laughs> oh, but you know that Lisa? It seems like she doesn't have any tolerance for any BS. Yeah, well, we're just gonna have to be on our best behavior. Don't want to get fired from this job. Not like last time. Good thing we start tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about any employees getting in our boys, case. Boys, yeah. boys, boys. I know we've agreed that you start tomorrow, but we actually just had a customer call in that needs help ASAP. They don't have any electricity right now, and the rest of our team is dispatched. Do you think you two can handle it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, check out this house! Dude, look at these cars. I mean, <laughs> these people, they gotta be rich. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they're rich and stupid. I mean, that way, we can bill them for extra work. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, let's not take our chances. This is our first gig after all. True. But, you know, I'm trying to help ourselves first. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Hello? Anybody in here? Dude, whoever lives here is crazy. I mean, who leaves the front door unlocked? Hello? You must be the workers from Service Inn. 
Have we met before? Your guy's voices sound familiar. Oh my gosh! It's him! He's rich! And we could totally make a fool out of him because he's blind! Yeah, 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 no. Relax. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? <clears throat> uh, no, sir. We, we haven't met before. This is the first time. Yeah, this is our first time meeting. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm having the worst day ever. Someone stole all the cash out of my wallet. I came home and my electricity was completely out. And I'm pretty sure all the food in my refrigerator is spoiled by now. Oh, sorry to hear that, sir. But no need to worry because we're going to take care of it. Yeah, don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Just, we'll laugh about it, eh? All right, every switch in the house is out, by the way. Not a problem. Dude, we can totally make a fool out of this guy and not get caught. We should be a little careful, though, because he realized the money in his wallet was stolen. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. It looks like you're right. The switches aren't working. But, uh, we're here to fix it. All right. Thank you. I sure appreciate the help. And feel free to help yourself to snacks. Our pantry's fully stocked. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, showtime. Okay. Well, sir, looks like the problem's been fixed. Ta-da! Oh, I'd be thanking you guys, but I'm not sure where or what I should be looking at. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, sir. Got your electrical running up again, and I checked inside your fridge. Most of your food didn't go bad. <laughs> wow, finally some good news. But I must say, we ran into a... Uh, Plumbing issue. Plumbing issue? What are you talking about? Yeah, seems like the peach wrap under the sink was broken. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was like, uh, you had a neglected backlog in your pipes and we pretty much had to replace all of them. So it's a problem fixed now? Yep. Ah, silly me. I didn't realize I had all these problems till you guys got here and saved my house. Please do let me know how much this is gonna cost. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a thousand for the box fuse replacement, and then another um, five thousand for the plumbing issue. Okay, let me go get the cash. Well, my bad luck is still in effect. I can't find my cash. Shoot, it's because we took it all. Oh, crap. I forgot to think about that. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, um. No worries, sir. We can just write you an invoice and then uh, you can pay us back later. No, no, I want to take care of this now. I have a check, but I'll have to have one of you two write it out. Sure, even better.
<laughs> okay, we're all set. Yeah, anything else we can help you with, uh, sir? You guys can join me for dinner. I feel bad you had to spend your whole evening here of helping to fix my issues. Uh, sorry, sir, but uh, we're gonna have to pass. <laughs> yeah, um, I think our families are expecting, uh, but we're glad to have helped. <laughs> So, do you have any future problems? You know who to call. Well, thank you, gentlemen. You've been a big help. Helping others first. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, hey Lisa. Lisa. Hey, boys. Great work on your first job. The customer called to say what an amazing job you guys did, especially going above and beyond fixing his plumbing issue. Well, you know, helping others first is in our blood. <laughs> it's great for the company too. Actually, you guys did such an amazing job that the big boss wants to personally congratulate you too. A big, big boss? boss? Yeah, he's in the break room right now. Why don't you guys go in and say hi? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, boys. Oh, no. Uh, maybe he still can't see. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, I can see. And I sure saw everything. I am so confused right now. Service then only hires the best of the best. You know our model well by this point. It's helping others first. That might sound a little corny to the two of you, because the only thing you've ever done is help yourselves. You may have thought the job interview was just your Q&A with Lisa, but the real interview actually started in the morning. Yeah, you definitely remember when I deliberately dropped my wallet on the road and you slapped me in the face with it after taking all of my cash? You know what? Lisa and I consider letting that one go. But it just got worse and worse. Especially when you guys robbed me at my own house and made me a bogus work order. We are sorry, sir. We, we, we had no idea. Yeah, we didn't mean to do any of this. We, we're sorry. Sorry? You're only sorry you got caught. Yeah, you guys would be a disgrace to our company, or any company for that matter. I would say you guys were fired, but you weren't even hired in the first place. And the check I wrote to the two of you is gonna bounce. And you definitely stole more cash. And if you don't return it, I'm gonna sue you to a crisp. But all of that aside, what's important from this day forward is that the two of you need to learn a lesson and really get yourselves fixed. Because if you don't, Boy, oh boy, the world is gonna chew you out. We have our motto because it's a clear warning signal that a life solely driven by selfishness is a path to ruin. I live a blessed life with this company, my beautiful home, my car, because I chose to put others first. I can't even imagine what my life would have been like if I would have chose otherwise. Yeah, boys. If you keep this up, then you're going to be left with nothing. I mean, look at you guys now. You're already left with no job. Yeah. Yeah, you you guys, you're right. Yeah. Um, we're sorry. All right. Make sure you return the money. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Get out of my office. We really messed up. Yeah. Well, I guess we got another chance. Even though we may no longer work with this company, we still need to start living differently. Let's start by returning everything we stole and maybe trying something new. Spare chain. Please, spare chain, please. How about we help that guy out? Yeah. I think it's time to start helping others out first. Spare change, please. Excuse me, sir. Hey. 